you know, this paper, as soon as I go from the glass to the paper, it is a distinct feeling. And I think a big part of packaging is, is the way that it feels, right? The first thing we, we communicate in packaging is texture and color, and there's foil and printing and UV. And um, there's a lot of, and then of course the, the die cut shape. Fedragoni self-adhesives, it's their label division. And what is luxury labels? Right, this is something that I personally, having been in packaging for many years, have never considered labels luxury until I got this education from Nicole Valley and Alina Nicolas, both of whom are with Fedragoni self-adhesives. Before we jump into this episode, the audio quality isn't the greatest because we were recording this in the middle of packaging premiere Milan. Um, we had the stage next to us. There was music pumping. Um, so we've gone ahead. We've cleaned up the audio as much as possible without, uh, you know, without damaging the conversation that's happening. Um, so really just listen in to what we're talking about. What makes a label luxury? What kind of materials they're using? How are they being more sustainable? How to consider labels when you're actually designing with packaging that require labels? Is it a closure? Is it a wrap for say a bottle? Um, is it for pharmaceuticals? There's so many different applications of labels. And we get into all of them with this team. They do an amazing job. We're going to share some of the different examples of this product. But if you want to learn more about it, go to fedragoni.com or Fedragoni Self Adhesives and request one of their packs. They've got these beautiful packs of label materials that go through like their hemp, their cotton. Um, they even have like stuff made out of grass. So some really beautiful label products that you should check out. They're absolutely not a sponsor, but I wouldn't mind having them as a sponsor. Uh, talk about sponsors. We've got idpdirect.com, factory direct packaging. They manage logistics and last mile delivery for global brands around the world. So if you're a large brand and you're looking for packaging to be made and delivered to your stores, check them out, idpdirect.com. Also, Pacdora, pacdora.com. If you're looking for the latest in how to create dye lines fast and I can't keep talking about this. I'm super excited about this. They're launching their AI version of, well, versioning where you design one pack and then pick a bunch of different packs and it takes that artwork and applies it to all of them and it's production ready. It's pretty amazing. It takes seconds, crazy stuff. And of course, specright.com. If you're looking for a way to manage all of your specifications for all of your packaging, check out specright.com. Not only is it going to make it easier to reorder your packaging and get the right color, the right materials, all the right specifications across the entire line of packaging. It's also going to help you with sustainability guidelines and managing your product to make sure that you are, in fact, doing what you're telling your consumers that you're going to do from a sustainability standpoint. They are amazing. Check them out at specright.com. Now let's jump to the show. So today we have uh, Fedragoni self-adhesives. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Besides the Fedragoni paper box, the black one with the three drawers, it was like the most famous paper box anywhere. You also have a self-adhesives section of your company. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and the self-adhesives company? Yeah, sure. So thank you, first of all, for, for having us today. So as you were saying, everybody knows Ferragoni, actually, no, in the, let's say in the paper world, on the paper side, but there is also the, the self-adhesive right now. no. But to talk a bit more about self-adhesive, I think we should, uh, let's say, take a step back because uh, uh, the self-adhesive business unit came, let's say, from the merge of different companies in the, let's say, in the last now 20 years that then gives lives to uh, what is self-adhesive today, you know? So uh, production, of course, of uh, premium materials and materials for the self-adhesive industry. Uh, I would say biggest advantage is the heritage you know, of Fedrigoni. So the fact that in the Fedrigoni group, we have the two business units and most of our, let's say, papers, particularly for the luxury segment. So when we talk about, you know, spirits, wine, etc., comes actually from Federigoni, from Federigoni sure. paper. So this is, I would say, our uh, best asset. Um, and also this gives us the possibility to offer, uh, you know, to brand owners that really wants to, uh, you know, have luxury packaging and the luxury uh, label, the possibility to actually uh, have this match, no? So have the coordinated package and label. And this is something that I think is uh, one of our, for sure, uh, biggest advantage. Um, so in terms of uh, luxury label, I think uh, particularly in Europe, we are the 
I would say, you know, biggest player in terms of luxury paper. So particularly on cosmetics, wine and spirits, this segment. Um, but then we cover, you know, a lot of um, applications. Mm-hmm. So from pharma, home and personal care, even, you know, uh, application for uh, graphics, so large format. So let's say we have a 360, I would say, offer, but our for sure, uh, you know, best mm-hmm. assets is the, the, the possibility to offer actually luxury and premium papers. I'm familiar with luxury papers but I've never thought of luxury labels. Right? And we typically think of just as labels as just a, a, an adhesive paper. So what makes your label luxury? Hi, nice to meet you. Thank you for <laughs> yes. the invitation. I'm Nicole Valle, I'm a business developer. I'm taking care of the luxury self-adhesive material for Ryan and Spirits mainly. And the advantage of our material of the beauty, they can also create a storytelling with the brand owner. So trust me, the value of the product. Mm-hmm. For this reason, we talk about mostly paper, but of course we have also films. So uh, we have different kinds of choices. And especially for the wine, spirits, cosmetics, and beer, also craft beer is uh, also a nice market for us, is to give already value from the label instead to spend money for marketing uh, like campaign. You can already start from your product to transmit your value and give also luxury effect. So thanks also from the paper, but of course, uh, the digital printing and the embellishment that you can add on our self-adhesive material increase the value of the bottle in this case, or of course the product. Sure, sure. And, and we have a we have a wine bottle here on the table, and you know this paper. As soon as I go from the glass to the paper, it is a distinct feeling, and I think a big part of packaging is is the way that it feels. Right, the first thing we we communicate in packaging is texture. And color and there's foil and printing and uv and um, there's a lot of and then of course the the die cut shape right so from a competition standpoint when this bottle is on shelf it draws your attention to it and then when you feel it it feels definitely more elevated than some of the other labels. So tell me about some of the other products that you have. So here we have uh, present the novelties that we are talking alternative fibers, so mm-hmm. mainly paper, but also the, we took fibers, for example, bamboo, you can find hemp, uh, or here you have also edern from the grass, white wow. straw, stracciatella. That makes also adding value to create more this storytelling, uh, of course, uh, uh, label uh, is compulsory if you want to sell something yeah. and also looking for the new marketing uh, analysis. Of course, you know the product, you know the entry level of the price, but what makes it here different is the label. So how can you reach direct your consumer? That's kind of a good topic. Excellent. I have my, my questions here yeah. that I sent you. Mm-hmm. So everybody, want, everybody wants post-consumer waste in their paper. So how does PCW impact production of labels. Yeah, take this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, also, uh, Federigrani paper mill already use uh, pre consumer, um, so they don't want to do a waste uh, of the paper, the fibers. And then we implement this to some of the our range that is 100% recycled, that implement also post consumer, mainly for the office. So we don't need to use more water and the re ink, of course, the label, uh, the paper, but to reuse mainly the white so that. It's feasible also for the printing techniques sure. and so to give also the uh, structure of the fibers, no, that otherwise are so poor and then you cannot apply and uh, on the bottle, of course, labeling part. So it play a role, uh, but of course, uh, uh, there is also SEA that also can uh, affect and check it out uh, the region that you should emission the water consumption as well to create uh, these products. Exactly. Perhaps I think here it will be interesting. This is what we have brought here today. No? On this, the, this bottle. This bottle and this product that I think it was a bit the jewel of the crown no? this year in terms of, because, I mean, it's uh, really uh, super innovative. I would say it's, I mean, the first example of upcycling in the industry. So it's something that only Ferdogoni uh, self-adhesive was able, let's say, in the industry to develop. And uh, let's see, the the most uh, let's say impactful thing about the paper in itself or the range of this paper which is called replay mm-hmm. 
and it's called replay for a reason because it it actually let's say gives a new life so you know you <laughs> basically actually you know replay Replaying something it, yeah. exactly because uh what we did what we developed also thanks to the partnership with Claire Fontaine and of course our um uh are in the department uh basically we are reusing the liner that usually you know was considered a waste because when you apply the label of course the liner was uh yeah basically it is a waste actually so basically thanks to um uh, let's say production uh process the liner now comes and uh, become let's say a new premium material which is the replay so it's part of the new paper that then will become actually a label. So there are two innovations in this. Wow. Now, first of all, something that was considered waste. waste. Yeah. Now it has another value, which is also, you know, the concept itself of upcycling. That's why it's not recycled, but upcycled. So you start from, uh, you know, something that has less value and now you give, you know, another value to this material. So in this case, the liner, actually the replay range, I mean, the new materials have like uh, almost the 15% of, uh, uh, you know, the liner that was collected and then, um, and then, uh, you know, mixed in the new paper. Um, so this is the first advantage. The second one is what Mikol was, uh, was actually mentioning. The LCA, because when you know when you talk about sustainability, sometimes it's a bit confusing. Now, what sure. is actually is sustainability? Mm -hmm. So the fact about this paper is that it, the impact you know that has uh, it's really you know uh, it's it, I mean it's wonderful in terms of performance. If you compare the replay paper with the paper with the same um, uh, let's say feature, if we can or performance, if we can say it in this way. The replay paper has like uh, the 50% less in terms of consumption of water, uh, etc. And this is what the LCA, so the life cycle assessment uh, tool, measures. So we notice that this paper, you know, is not just innovative in terms of okay, upcycling, but also on the, you know, impact that it has on the, on the environment, let's sure. say. So, and that was the, the big novelty that, uh, you know, we had this year. Uh, and that's one of the things I, I guess I never thought of the liner. Yeah. Like at all, right? It just comes off and it's waste. Exactly. And now you're collecting it and making labels. A new paper. Yeah. Exactly. A new paper that then will become a label. And actually, that's why for this lunch, if I can just spend a yeah. couple of words on this, you will see in the bottle, I mean, the label, Cinderella, because, you know, the, the parallelism, let's say, that mm -hmm. we use is that the liner. You know, uh, like yes. Cinderella, <laughs> did, let's say, upgraded, yeah. <laughs> no, itself in this case, and become so we give a new life and mm. uh, and become a premium label now. So we use wow. this also another, yeah, to, to communicate <laughs> all the campaigns. No, that's perfect. And then it, it also says um, the upcycling where glassine becomes part of the uh, part of the process. So then this liner has uh you know is a, is a glycine base and then you're able to put that into the paper and then does this recycle is this recyclable still the the labels themselves mm. well the problem I mean, of the sulfur exactly. material is that adhesive so it depends on which kind of adhesive in sure. this case we took uh acrylic water base or acrylic uv mm -hmm. so it depends on the process of the waste you know most of them for example wine spirits uh, uh the labels stay with the bottle otherwise we have also wash off adhesive that you can reuse the bottle especially for the water sector or the beer sector that they reuse a lot also the bottle and in this case we can offer wash of adhesive that you can have like the solution for um, temperature, the high temperature from 60 to 80 uh, height and also the solution that you can remove easily the label and reuse the bottle. So it depends on which sector and mm -hmm. we can have different kind of adhesive depending on the application. In this case, we are here showing off uh, adhesive applied on glass mainly because of the wine and spirit sure. sector. But of course, we have also hot mail and industrial adhesive for different kind of application like Alina was said before, also graphics, if you think about car wrapping or pass or school, wow. this kind of 
specific application. So we can provide the sandwich of the material. So thanks from the paper meal, we have the face soap, then we apply which kind of others do you need? And of course, the support, the liner that now you know the role of the liner, yeah. of course. So it's really depending um, of which kind of sector and we can provide you the perfect product uh, in this case of your needs. Okay, so as the designer of this label, then I have a conversation with you, the label maker, and we discuss what kind of adhesive I need. It's not, I buy this label and it already comes with a specific adhesive. I pick the adhesive that I need for the use and you can put any kind of adhesive on any of these papers. Is that correct? Yeah, could More be. Well, like, yeah, yeah, it depends on uh, the, the product. We mm -hmm. try to develop, of course, there are also minimum quantity of course. Uh, because we are, uh, Behind also our paper meal, so Cardinals, Fibrigoni, Super Reader now are our supplier mainly. So we have to work with the paper meal or our supplier for the films, and then we can create the sandwich. We have also a big range that you can choose, of course, mm -hmm. especially for the wine and spirits. My role of BDM is also to support, give novelties, and try to find out the best solution for the designer that can be inspired, of course, and create a really good storytelling for the end user that in this case can be the winer or the spirits producer as well. Exactly. Let's say that the role of Nicole, no, in terms of designers and brand owner, but in general, I think also one of our strengths, I would say, is, you know, the fact that we are really close to the designer yeah, brand owner, sorry, but also to the printer. So coming back to your question, if you can do, you know, Everything mm -hmm. a bit was your question. I mean, we we support the printers also in choosing, you know, the right adhesive because it depends a lot on the application, no? So, uh, but we also develop, you know, projects with the designer, with the brand owners, with the printers, that's for sure. So it's something that it's, you know, evolving in terms of uh, also of product development to offer actually, you know, the right product on the sure. right application. And, uh, we launched a new customer portal, which is, uh, you know, you can access through our website. And so in our customer portal, actually, uh, you can find, you know, all our, let's say, product, both papers, film, depending on the application, depending on the different markets, um, you know, with all the technical specification. So it is already, you know, a first touch point uh, uh, with the self adhesive words, request samples, etc., etc. So this is already, you know, through our website. Uh, sure. So that's uh, fredrigoni.com. I can go straight there. Exactly. Okay. It's Fredrigoni self adhesive, but from the fredrigoni.com, you can go to both, let's say, Fredrigoni paper and Fredrigoni self adhesive. Yeah. So both words are uh, still present. And on our fredrigoni self adhesive.com, then you can also access to the portal, you know, understand a bit also how the self adhesive word is working, etc. So for sure, uh, contact us through our Excellent. website. Yeah. Perfect. And on our social media, of course. Yes. So we can find you, and again, the Fedrigoni box that does not have self-adhesives is like the most famous box. Yeah. So what are you going to do for self-adhesives? It's going to be as iconic as that black box. We have a pocket. Sorry that we didn't do, but uh, you can find it on our social media and our website. We have a pocket that also shows the range of self adhesive material for luxury products. It's just also a small catalog, not it's like the big box. <laughs> exactly. It's like one of the three purge of the regarding yeah. box, I guess. Uh, we had in the past, of course, a big, uh, uh, like a buy roller for the self adhesive material, but it's not easy to take and collect every time yes. with you. So we did also this pocket format that you yes. can take. Awesome. Yeah. And, and then... <laughs> No, we are yeah. we are global. So the the question before, so it's been uh, where you want to contact us. For example, my role, I have a colleague that oh. is taking care of the French market, the Spain. We have another company in Manchester, so the UK market uh, in Argentina. So it depends on the supplier, the designer, the end user. They can True. find uh, all around the world. Uh, exactly. So. And then regarding your question on the catalogs, I mean, I don't want to spoil it because I shouldn't, but let's see that we will have something new and really nice soon. So, but I cannot say, what? tell more, but uh, next time, them. exactly, we can show you something new for sure. Perfect. Well, I'm excited because I love, you know, I, I love the Fedrigoni brand. 
um, amazing stuff. So thank you again for joining me and sharing your product with me, the Fedragoni Self Adhesives, and they can go to FedragoniSelfAdhesives.com yes. to learn more. And you have the online portal, so that's like my first touch point of learning the materials, adhesives, and then when I contact you, at least I know a little bit more of what I want and the options that are available. So. Thank you again so much for, for, thank for being on. I appreciate you. Great. Nice to meet you. And nice thank you for the well. opportunity to share our products. Of course.